Gentlemen, welcome to not the mess of my desk, but the mess of the car. And meet the Hornet FPV flying wing. Now, I've been and got her done. She's ready to fly. And I've checked the weather report. And it's going to be a tad windy, to say the least, for the next couple of days. Like the next four or five days. So I'm kind of like desperate to get her out and get her maiden over and done with. Just to see what she flies like. So... This is what she looks like, and uh, I've done a wicked little shiny paint job up underneath. Looks pretty cool, uh, and I've just found a secret location for me to go and do a maiden flight on. Uh, I've never flown there before, so it will be curious. And uh, yeah, she looks pretty right now. I don't know how long she's going to look pretty for. Uh, I've been through all the movement checks. I've checked the video transmitter. Uh, I've done a range check on her as well, so I'm traveling light. I've just got my bag with my transmitter and fat sharks in, so yeah, happy days. It, I'm, I must admit, it look, does look a little bit breezy out there, but I've flown in far worse, so let's go and do this. Right, I'm here with her. i got to go a bit careful. There's a river right behind me, but it's going to make some fantastic uh, FPV footage, but look at the uh, path which I'm having to go through to find somewhere uh, to go and take her off from. It's a bit nuts, isn't it? The things you'll get, whoa. Yeah, the river's just down there. Happy days. Anyway, I can see a field over there. Let's go and do this. Look at that. Let me put that in focus. Oh, no, not that in focus. That in focus. So I don't think anybody's been down this path all summer. And I've just been a fan of footbridge. So you're going to have to excuse me. I don't really trust that bridge. So I'm off. And then we're going flying. Just over there. So this is me back at my desk uh, in the evening now. And you'll notice that I've got the goggles on. And a maiden flight was an FPV maiden. Uh, I went through all the settings, did range check and everything, just made sure everything was all right. And plus that was a camera which was known to be really, really good. And uh, yeah, this is a maiden. I, I'm quite confident now in just chucking it and the grass was really long. So you'd know very, very quickly if something was gonna go pear-shaped. Uh, and I knew that number one, there was nobody around me. And uh, number two, that if I did need to ditch her, then it was going to end up in, well, ideally in the long grass and not in the river to our right right now. So we'll notice that it's really kind of choppy up there. Uh, and actually, it's a combination of two issues is that number one, it's quite windy and the Hornet does have really, really big uh, side fins to make sure it tracks through the air at full pelt. And the other reason is that I am, oh, I'm so bad at doing this. I, I didn't really start trimming her out till later on in the flight. So you'll see she's pulling to the right. Uh, and half that reason uh, is because we've got the video transmitter just off the center on the right hand side. So uh, it wasn't until I actually really landed her that I started trimming her around. But also, I, I got up quite high uh, and became familiar where I was. Now, I did pause for a good 5-10 minutes just to take all the landmarks in. I knew there were some power cables over the opposite side of the river. I knew that there was a railway line quite a fair distance behind me. Uh, and I'd walked up and seen that there's some playing fields. So I knew my landmarks. My only concern was just getting back to myself. But as you could see, once we got in the air, it was really, really obvious is that there's that stream, which we saw the bridge a few moments ago, uh, is that, oh, batteries charged, by the way. <laughs> you must hear there's so many batteries being charged on these videos. Uh, but I went out, I did three batteries in it absolutely brilliant so i wasn't full throttle i was just half throttle just getting used to her uh, and as i was saying uh, i was just getting used to the model and getting used to the location where i was flying to so we can see that there were some playing fields down to the right uh, and then if we were to go left we'd meet the river uh, if we went right we'd go back over the playing fields and then we'd come back we knew where we were so and also i was flying out a little bit farther as well just checking the, the video range was going to be acceptable. And then you'll notice that 
even in my second flight, is that I didn't really push that kind of boundary. I've just now got that right. I know that we're good out to that line and we'll uh, have fun on the way back. Now, I'm getting a little bit um, uh, like uh, interference. Now, down to the right hand side, you'll see the uh, the overhead power lines down there. But also, what a fantastic view. Now, I know the video quality isn't very good, but look at the sun uh, as it's starting to set, bouncing off the, well, then that's the River Avon down there. Uh, what a beautiful, beautiful place to fly. And to be frankly honest, I got up high and I was just kind of happy flying around and just, in, just, just to be honest, I was just enjoying the view. Uh, the, the, I know I was supposed to be trimming a room and everything, but like I said, I'm terrible for flying models, which I haven't trimmed in. I just kind of like fly with it, if that makes sense. Uh, and yeah. There's me down in the corner, which is about in the middle of your screen right now. So I knew where I was and I was just like eyeing up the view of the, the river. So maybe one day I'll, I'll, I'll grow enough nuts and fly straight down the river. Imagine that with a run cam on and the video quality. Oh, that, that would be amazing. So you'll see me just, uh, just pottering around, just doing a straight circuit. Just a nice big, what was, hmm, I don't know, a big triangle, big oval, nothing special pretty uneventful and that's the way it should be so I think I'm lining up my uh, landing which considering that I haven't flown with this camera in a model for a very long time because actually actually I'll let you into a little secret this is the camera which which came out of the lost wing wing z84 and yes the wing wing z84 did return home uh, and i'll make a video on that uh, as soon as i can but uh, yeah here's me just lining up i'll start to turn right now and i'm getting ready for a landing so you'll see that i've got quite a bit of height on uh, this thing does glide really quite well considering that it what was it 351 grams including the battery that's the all up weight and we're down. Happy days. Hi, it's Matt. I've just done a maiden and it was a straight FPV maiden. And what a little fripper. Wow. Really? Wow. Uh, it's quite windy here at the moment. You, you can only just about tell it down here, but as soon as you get up a little bit high, uh, it was getting knocked around a bit. I, I've had three flights with her. The first flight was straight FPV maiden went perfectly, brought her back round, wanted to keep it short, just trim her in a bit, uh, and I went from there. And then I went on to do a second flight with a new battery, and uh, plonk her ear, kept the finger down on the uh, fat shots for too long, and the bloody menu came up. So uh, what I decided to do, I could still see the picture through the screen, uh, I put her into the ground, which is always the safest thing to do, uh, again, regardless of the model, safety first. I put her into the ground. Uh, I have come away with like a bit of a crack down the side. And I always knew that these plywood things would always be the weakness on them. And yeah, so it needs a little tab of glue. But that didn't hold me back. I went up for a third flight. What a little ripper. Uh, the first flight, I had 58% left in the battery. Uh, I've just been chucking her around there and I'm only looking for the battery tester so it has been running there while I've been chatting and uh, yeah what a brilliant brilliant little plane and what does it say on the battery tester 26% and that to be fair is probably about right because I was on full throttle for the vast majority of it I really didn't hold back and uh, for, I, I'm really surprised what a look 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 how big that motor is compared to my thumb. Brilliant little motor. I don't think there's much reason to overpower this. The combo works out perfectly. I did put an extra bit of lead in the nose just to counter the uh, weight. And it does kind of, it is a tad, well, no, look, she's balancing perfectly there at the moment. So, yeah, happy days. So with that said, for myself, Matt, cheerios. And now I've got to go walk through all those blooming stingers. My legs are killing me. What do we do? Blooming nicely nuts. Wing nuts. 
Rag the nuts off. Happy days. Bye. I've just put my cap on. What a brilliant little spot. How magical is that? The trees, half in the water. It doesn't look like there's much flow in the river. And that's the River Avon, by the way. Beautiful river. Runs for miles and miles and miles. And you've got houseboats over there which live on the river. There was a little bird over there. And that's what you would have seen. There's a fish just there. Just come up. And that's the river which you would have seen in the uh, DVR footage. Such a lovely, lovely place. And it's right on the doorstep. I I've lived right in the middle of a city before. And uh, I lived up 22 steps up to the front door. And the only grass which we had was between the uh, patio tiles. And we did that for years. And now we live just on the, on the outskirts of uh, Bristol. And it's, I've got this within 10 minutes walk. I'm a lucky lad. Andrew Newton, you would love this. You get the takeoff all the way through there with that seagoing plane. You get your rescue boat out on air. Yeah, you'd like it here, fella. Anyway, I'm going to sit here and enjoy the view. And, uh, yeah. Thanks ever so much for watching. And as always, for myself, Matt, cheerios.